The David Pakman Show at davidpakman.com. Let's talk about the so-called IRS scandal. This is the uh, this is the story. This is the, the the story that is based around the IRS revealing that it targeted some conservative groups for closer scrutiny. Uh, some involving the terms Tea Party and Patriots, etc. Republicans really want to make this a new scandal. They want to personally blame President Obama. And step one right away is we just need to figure out what do we actually know and what are right wing corporate media outlets and right wing uh, talking point repeaters parroting on this story, because otherwise it's going to be very hard to have a reasonable conversation, I think. Right. Lewis. So under U.S. federal law, uh, Section 501c3, which is why you always hear about 501c3 organizations and 501c4 organizations. There are certain types of organizations or nonprofits which don't have to pay some federal income taxes. Now, federal law has a, a number of different restrictions about what activities these organizations can engage in if they are going to be nonprofits for tax purposes. So, for example, one of the most common nonprofits is the 501c3. They are, quote, absolutely prohibited from directly or indirectly participating in any political campaign activity. And then you have 501c4 organizations, which aren't explicitly prohibited from political activity, but they are required by the statute to operate exclusively for the promotion of social welfare. OK, now, typically 501c4 designation is a little bit more relaxed than 501c3 uh, designation in general. Now, as early as mid 2011, some officials at the IRS knew that conservative groups were primarily being targeted in uh, in scrutinizing these five these nonprofit designations. And uh, just a couple of days ago, um, this started blowing up into a scandal that uh, allegedly implicated President Obama's knowledge. Now, yesterday, President Obama put out a statement saying the IRS must apply the law in a fair and impartial way and its employees must act with utmost integrity. The report shows that some of its employees failed that test. Now, number one, there is no evidence. Let me be clear, Lewis, and and we can speak with certitude based on what we know so far. Okay. There is no evidence that President Obama knew anything. Never mind was involved in this in any way. The IRS inspector general said that incompetence, not malice, was behind the tax agency's scrutiny of conservative groups. A 48 page report explicitly states that IRS behavior was not politically biased. It was due to lower level staff who didn't understand their jobs and it was not driven by the White House. So, again, you can allege that President Obama was involved, but there is no evidence that he was. And if we're not going to base what we say on evidence, Lewis, I don't know what we can base it on. Yeah, then you can just say whatever you want. And some people do. Now, let's look at the, the context here, because this, guys, is the most important thing. Since Citizens United passed, 501c4 group registrations have gone up significantly. Most of those groups are right wing groups. This is just that's just what it is. Most of the groups, an overwhelming portion of the groups that have uh, uh, rushed to acquire this uh, designation from the IRS are right wing groups by sheer numbers. This means that there will be more right wing groups that are being scrutinized now today on MSNBC. No, maybe it was Fox News, one of the corporate news networks earlier today. Congressman Sander Levin said that actually he knows that there are left wing groups that also had been the target of IRS scrutiny under the nonprofit designation. However, nobody is denying that right wing groups, at least in number, more were being scrutinized. But again, way more right wing group registrations. It only follows logically. It's just a numbers game that you're going to have more right wing groups uh, uh, under scrutiny. But here's the other thing. This is the IRS, right? This is the this is the organization responsible for taxes of the political groups. Which are the ones that have an anti-tax, anti-government point of view? Is it the environmental groups? Is it Planned Parenthood? Is it those types of groups? No, it's not. It's the Tea Party groups, the so-called patriot groups, the freedom groups, the anti-government groups, the small government groups. So therefore, doesn't it make perfect sense that those groups registered in no. the rush after the Citizens United ruling would by number 
be scrutinized more. Gentlemen? I mean, if we're just talking about numbers and statistics and, and common sense analysis of, of the groups, yes. But well, even then, even then, I, I don't believe that the IRS is a should be a political organization. But let's say that they identified, you know what, groups that brand themselves as Tea Party or Freedom or Patriot groups, some of their core beliefs are about not paying taxes. Therefore, from a from a tax collection and compliance with the law point of view, doesn't it make sense, Natan, that those groups would be under the microscope? Well, um, it's possible. We don't know all the facts yet. It's possible that the reason why those groups were flagged or certain employees were told to flag them and check them more stringently than you know other groups, mm -hmm. it could be because uh, most of these new 501c3s were conservative or Tea Party groups. Sure. But we've already had IRS officials apologize, and in their apologies, they admitted that there was political motivation in the wrongdoing. So yeah, I guess it's possible that that could be, you know, a, a BS uh, apology that turns out not to be what happened. But no, it no, sounds, but, but, it yeah. sounds like there was a political aspect of this. I'm not saying there was no political aspect, Lewis. What I'm saying is simply the higher level of scrutiny or higher number of audits or analysis or, or conflict with these right wing groups by itself is not proof of anything. We have had admissions saying that people at lower levels uh, than, than the president, of course, made political decisions. But my point is simply looking at the numbers doesn't tell us much because there may be certain groups that are trying to avoid taxes. Even technically being politically motivated could just mean that because you assume the vast majority of, of uh, groups that quickly rush to acquire this status mm. tend to be groups that are anti-tax and anti-government, uh, that that would lead you to think that, okay, maybe these are the ones, I mean, technically that's being politically motivated. It right. doesn't mean that you made an active political decision. Because you to, don't like conservatives. Right. So, yeah, right. right. We need to know more. What we do know for now is that there is no evidence at all President Obama knew or was involved in any of this.